One of the routine maintenance tasks you have to take on with your diesels is to change the antifreeze, change the coolant in the engines. So this week on my boat, we're going to be working with Duke Spinney from Y Heritage Marina to change out the coolant on these Cat 3208s. And we're also going to take a look at the anodes and change those out, which is particularly important if you boat in salt water. Well, to get started, the first thing we're going to do is warm up the engine to at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that the motor is warmed up properly, the first step in draining the coolant is removing the radiator cap. Because it's a closed cooling system, we want to allow air in the top for the coolant to come out of the bottom. With all the coolant drained, a mixture of 50% distilled water and OEM diesel spec antifreeze was put together. Distilled water ensures no minerals are introduced to the coolant and the heavy duty red antifreeze is designed specifically for high temp diesel applications with specific anti-corrosion properties. To ensure an accurate mixing ratio, a coolant refractometer is utilized to test a sample of the new coolant mixture. Now just looking into the refractometer here for ethylene glycol shows this had a mix of minus 30. Pretty good, but it should be a little higher when we put the new in. After adjusting the coolant to protect down to minus 40, a hand pump was used to refill the engine. So now that I've put back into the motor as much coolant as I've taken out, we're going to start the motor with the rad cap off to allow any air that I've trapped in the bottom of the block to come up through the radiator. With the engine running, the system is topped off, the cap secured, and then the boat must be taken out and run under load when both engines have been completed. We've just returned from a sea trial here on Georgian Bay, and you can see our coolant level has come up to the full mark, which is exactly where the coolant has to be in this motor. The next task, which is often overlooked, is to change the seawater side of the cooling system's sacrificial anodes. As you can see, this anode had sacrificed itself completely. So a replacement was definitely in order. The number and locations of the anodes vary by manufacturer, and these CAT 3208s had several of different sizes. Now here's just a sample of three of the anodes from the engines from the raw water or sea cooling side, and you can see they are starting to disintegrate. So this was a great interval to do the maintenance to change both the coolant and the anodes to protect these expensive CAT 3208s.